Ooh, this one's bigger. Oh yeah, come on. Just walking it. Grunt for me, baby. He hit me good. I'm in my feelings, bro. <laughs> it's gonna get real quiet now. How you doing? You're famous. Basically, fishing boils down to time on the water. You can have the best setup, the best boat, the best lures or rod or whatever, in your opinion, in the world. But if you don't have time on the water, you're not gonna be successful in consistently catching fish. You know, I'm still learning it. And I'll probably keep learning it for the rest of my life. I know how to catch snook, but I don't have it so dialed in, there the fish just busted right there. I don't have it so dialed in that I can go out and I'm like guaranteed, yeah, we're gonna catch a few snook today. Cause I'm still learning the tides, I'm still learning everything around me. And uh, and that's it, you know? It, I'm trying to figure out the perfect time of day to go at the perfect tide, the perfect temperature, the wind direction, you know? what time in the tide to actually cruise to those locations. All of that is coming into play and the only way I'm gonna dial that in is by experience and just doing it. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm glad you guys decided to click that link and uh, join me for another episode. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, basically today's show is about just time on the water. I'm exploring some new areas, um, I haven't fished I haven't fished this area a lot. So I, you know, I've gone out and I've caught snook and I've caught stuff, but I'm really trying to learn how to dial it in. So I know on a more, not professional level, but just more of a true fisherman level where to go and when to go to catch the fish. I went out on two different days. One day I took my buddy Migs and then the next day I just went on my own. We got some encounters with some dolphin out in the wild, um, just coming up and checking out the boat. We. I, I slammed a bunch of Jack Caval on the flats and uh, we're, we were trolling for some snooks. So uh, guys, enjoy the episode. If you enjoy fishing and outdoors content, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell right now because you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes. Woo. Nice. That's what was thumping me. You're big, bro. Hey, team no skunk. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, guys. I want to catch one. Yeah. Yeah. I know I was getting thumped like crazy. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I got a bunch. That's got some. I already know it. Yeah, I got some. That's it right there. Now we're good. We're trolling some live mullet, but I'm flipping this uh, this worm and got a fish. It feels heavy. I know I'm going against the current a little bit. Yeah, he, he hit me good. Where is he at? Whew. Better not be a manatee. <laughs> what is that? Did I foul hook? A mullet? A jack? A mullet. I foul hooked a mullet. Well, you got bait. It felt like a big ass fish. He got bait. Yeah, we got we got more bait, guys. <laughs> On the M3X. <laughs> On the Monster 3X, catch a mullet, baby. Catch everything. <laughs> Hey, you know, it is CEO fishing, catch everything outdoors. So, you know, that's how we do it. <laughs> Damn it. 
I did not think it felt it was running across. I felt it and then it was just yeah, dead weight. Snag. And like the whole time I'm like, damn, am I literally catching like a log or something? Well, at least y'all got some fish in action. We're out here putting in the work. Oh, catching mangroves now. Let me see if I can get this out. Yep. De pinga. Did I get a real fish? <laughs> <laughs> I got a damn houndfish or a giant needlefish and a foul hooked a mullet. So I just got smashed by a snook. Big snook. And uh, I turned around trying to turn the camera on. And as quick as I got smashed, I lost it before I was able to get the camera turned on. So uh, lesson to the wise, make sure the fish is on before you try and film. I'm in my feelings now. I'm in my feelings, bro. <laughs> it's gonna get real quiet now. <laughs> it's gonna get real quiet. <laughs> He's like, bro, just stay tight, just stay tight. I'll get it, I'll get it. I'm like trying to flip the camera. Oh, the life of a freaking YouTube angler. Sometimes it sucks, but you know what? I'm still doing what I love for a living, so that's all that matters, and we're out here just having fun, man. Vibing. Got a friend. He's so cool, look at him. He's curious, man, just checking out the whole boat. He likes it. <laughs> So he came up to the What's up, buddy? How you doing? You're famous. You're so cute, dog. Yeah. So they. We've got some friends today. You hear the that squeaking? Yeah. You, Look, yeah, I hear them. you see the cloud of uh, mud over there. So basically, they're swimming in a circle and they're pushing the bait all together and they're hunting. Except for these two younger ones that are just coming around the boat because they're super curious on what we're doing here. I know there's a ditch right over here. I'm trying to slow it down a little bit. Cast it as ditch. Oh, right there. I am on. Woo, come on, baby. Come on. What do I have? What do I have? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Not what I want, but it is a heck of a fight. It is a good little fight. Maybe some shark bait. Let me uh, go ahead and anchor myself right here real quick. Come on, baby. Woo! Right off the edge of the flat. Little Jack Creval, you hear him grunt? Oh, grunt for me, baby. So let me get this out, hook out, let them go. Cause I'm not shark fishing today, otherwise I would keep his ass. But uh, hey, right when I thought I would start getting fish, I got some fish, a fish, it's nice. Let's keep it going though. Maybe I could find some bait. I'm gonna kill mm. Oh yeah, baby, come on. What's running? Come on. Oh, it spit me. Oh, I'm back on again. I'm back on again. It came back and got it. What is this? Don't tell me it's another jack. Don't tell me it's another jack. Yep. Looks like I'm fishing for jacks on the flat today. Whew. All with the bait caster. Another one. Dang. Ooh, big splashes ahead of me. Big splashes ahead of me. Hell, let's do this again. Do this again. Oh, I'm on again. I'm on again. This one's, ooh, this one's bigger. Oh, yeah. Come on. On a bait caster, guys. Ugh. Oh, he's pulling me. Oh, let's get this. Oh, shoot. 
Come on. He's going around the boat into the deep. Oh, they're feeding. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's three in what, three minutes? All right, you sit there. You sit there. Shoot. Keep catching these. I'm gonna chop one up for some shark. Might as well catch a shark on a 4,000. Why not? Dang. Kind of makes me want to do top water. Should I do top water right now? Let's do this, guys. Okay. Got the drop right here. Everything was coming from back there. Just using, just walking it. Come on. Yeah, I might have had the the right setup already with that little paddle tail. Seems like that's what they're wanting. Maybe they just want to see me struggle on a bait caster with the paddle tail. Maybe they just want the silver color right now. Oh, there, right there. I think they just want a paddle tail today. I think they just want a paddle tail today. Oh man, I can't tell you how strong these little fish are, especially on a bait catcher, guys. Oh. Uh, and going against the drag of the boat. Oh. Hey, it's a fun day. If I was Cuban, I'd probably be keeping them to eat them. But I'm not. Let's go. Let's go. This is the ticket right here. I'm not going to say it works every time, but it's working today. Any luck? Bro, it's jack after jack after jack right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad to be catching something right now. Well, there you have it, guys. No snook in this episode. I actually did catch a couple earlier in the morning um, when I was by myself. Just small, you know, maybe 15-inch uh, snook. Nothing crazy. I was using smaller lures. I didn't stop to record because already the day before, I missed a snook when I tried to stop to uh, hit record on the camera, and it was a giant. So uh, it's still weighing heavy in my brain a little bit. Not really, you know, because that's a part of fishing. If you're not losing fish, it means you're not catching enough. But with that being said, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notification bell on. And as always, I leave it on a positive note, which is keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz. You still there? You still there? Hey, don't forget, go buy a hat. Florida Hats CEO Fishing. I got a variety of colors, all Florida hats represent. I am coming out with some new designs as well and new shirts and the whole the whole shebang. So uh, go ahead and check out ceofishing.com and get yours today.